To celebrate the release of the unbearable weight of massive talent where Nicolas Cage plays himself, we thought we'd take a trip down memory lane and revisit all of our favourite instances of Nicolas Cage going absolutely batshit crazy on the silver screen. Hey guys, it's me, Emily, from It's Gone Viral, and here's our top 10 favourite Nicolas Cage outbursts. Alva! First up, we have Vampire's Kiss, in which Nicolas Cage plays a literary critic who falls in love with a seductive vampire. There are so many epic outbursts in this late 80s comedy horror, but our favourite is watching Cage manically reciting the alphabet to an employee. No wonder this guy has an Academy Award. Very good. You know your alphabet. I never misspelled anything! No. Run! Go run, dog! Put it down! No. Even a horror film about a neo-pagan cult has the potential to be unintentionally hilarious when you add Nicolas Cage into the mix, as seen with the 2006 remake of The Wicker Man. In the famous scene that has since become a popular meme, Nicolas Cage is being tortured as a wire mesh helmet is put into his head and live bees are poured inside. Not the bees! Ah! Oh, my eyes! My eyes! Ah! Ah! Surely the best thing to do here would be to simply close your mouth, right? Ah! You're scraping at the door! The 2011 Ghost Rider sequel has one standout scene that we just can't get enough of, and that's when Nicolas Cage regains his power and becomes the vengeful, fiery spirit of the Ghost Rider once again. We as viewers are treated to a classic Cage meltdown, but with the added bonus of it being in CGI as he rides a motorbike. There's a plethora of fantastic Nicolas Cage moments in this 1997 John Woo action flick, with the film barely up and running before we see Nicolas Cage dancing around as a priest. However, our favourite moment comes from a prison fight scene, where Nicolas Cage repeatedly shouts, I'm Caster Troy again and again. I should, I should fucking both. Just right now, I should fucking kill you, fucking both! In this 2009 American crime drama, Nicolas Cage plays a corrupt policeman who must investigate a series of murders. Throughout the course of the movie, Cage's character gets addicted to painkillers, which leads him to habitually using several other drugs, including cocaine and cannabis. Now, because it's Nicolas Cage, the results are, of course, hilarious, as there's nobody else who we'd rather see getting an on-screen high. Shoot him again. What for? His soul's still dancing. <laughs> they say bread is life, and, and I bake Bread, bread, bread. Up next, we have Moonstruck, a late 80s rom-com where Cher falls in love with Nicolas Cage, who in this film has a wooden prosthetic hand. What are you doing? Son of a bitch! Cage plays Ronnie, an unhinged man prone to over-the-top dramatic outbursts, which is, of course, perfect casting. I don't care! I ain't no freaking monument to justice! I lost my hand! I lost my bride! Tell me again about the Dion Super Saver. Well, there are several restrictions. What's this guy doing around the world in 80 days? Lighten up. You lighten up. 
Yet another Nicolas Cage rom-com, but this time he's traded out Cher for Sarah Jessica Parker. Nicolas Cage plays a private detective who loses a bet and must let his fiance spend a weekend with another man. Even though the film is meant to be a fun romantic comedy, there's thankfully room for a Nicolas Cage outburst in an airport, which just so happens to be one of his best. Don't get back on Then what? I'll be arrested, put in airport jail? Just get your ticket and move on, okay? Get your goddamn ticket and move on! Yeah. Oh, oh, can you help me? Is there a way you can help me help you help me so that I can get in his office? In this Ridley Scott black comedy, our man Cage plays a con artist with severe OCD and Tourette syndrome. Cage pretty much has some type of meltdown in every scene, but our favorite is when Cage storms into a pharmacy to get a prescription. Ever heard of a lie? Hey, have you ever been dragged to the sidewalk and being until you pissed blood? We genuinely think he should have won his second Oscar for this role. Fucking cocksucker! You cocksucker! You cocksucker! Ah, 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 ah. Described as a science fiction Lovecraftian horror, Nicolas Cage and his family battle a mutant extraterrestrial organism that infects their minds and bodies. Of course, we saw this plot and thought, perfect, a chance to see Nicolas Cage going off the rails for two hours. They must have got him. They? Uh, what the fuck are you talking about? And guess what? We weren't disappointed, with our favourite outburst being when Cage's character gets frustrated over a bad harvest of fruits. Fucking tastes like shit. You know what? Fuck that. Okay, coming up! You know what? Okay, stop it! Stop it! <clears throat> Slam it! Watch it now. Now you're in a fuck! We have Deadfall, an abysmal film with a 0% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, with the only saving grace being Nicolas Cage going absolutely insane seemingly in every scene. We couldn't decide on which moment exactly to feature here, so instead, here's a montage. Enjoy! <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> well, how the fucking knew you, man? The Joker's wild! Fucking fuckers fucked! Well, who's sitting behind your fucking desk now? Me! I'm behind your fucking desk now! Me! But of course, what's your favorite Nicolas Cage on screen meltdown? As always, let us know in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching.